big, Earl. Look how much bigger you got. Whoa. Okay. 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 All right, what's growing on? I tried to get a little Kiki love here this morning. She doesn't do cameras yet, but we're training her on that, don't worry. So today is shipping day in Florida. We're a couple days away from Thanksgiving. And I just wanna show you guys what's growing on, what's new here in the nursery. Not a lot being new. Um, not a lot has changed, but a lot of things are filled out and looking great. Um, this is one that I haven't really talked about a lot. This is that toilet paper plant. This is the one that Rob Greenfield talks about, you know, with the second phase now of crazy toilet paper shortages showing up due to the coronavirus. Um, you know, this is one that you can actually grow and use as toilet paper. Um, Rob Greenfield actually said this thing's just like having a nature's uh, wet wipe, I guess you could say. I haven't actually tried it yet, but what I can tell you is it is really soft. It smells really nice. It is related to mint. I'll make sure Robbie puts that uh, botanical name in there. But yeah, toilet paper plant, we can grow that. Okay, um, kind of getting down to the end of the uh, the Dragon's Breath, Stelosia, end of season. Um, one of my favorites over here right now is the Perennial Penta. Um, this is one I got from my good friend John Starnes. That is a true Perennial Penta that'll live for years and years and years, 20, 30 years, um, nonstop. Lots of the native blue porter weed that has an edible flower. Tastes just like a raw mushroom. That's another favorite for us. Couple of Barbados cherries left. These perennial peanut aren't quite ready to go out yet. Um, lots of the Kinoff hibiscus just starting to flower. These are edible flowers. Leaves are edible also. It's a really pretty one. Longevity spinach, we already had one cold night. So it's got a couple of black spots on it. These are some of our, uh, our mini Mexican sunflower. So Tithonia diversifolia, this is basically what we grow for fertilizer. Also makes a beautiful fall flower. I'll show you guys that here in a second. But this is our chop and drop, our main source of nutrition here on the farm. One of our favorites. Um, really beautiful perennial green here. This is our Okinawan spinach. What I like about the Okinawan spinach compared to that longevity spinach is that beautiful purple on the underside of the leaf. Another really nice perennial green. All of these can be eaten raw, preferred cooked, but they're really good. Um, lots of Turk's Cap Hibiscus. This is a favorite for us. This is the pink. The red tends to be a little bit sweeter. I don't know what that is. Um, they also tend to be a little bit sweeter once they've been planted in the ground. They're not just in that little four inch pot. I have a feeling it's access to more nutrients, more soil. Kiki's over here testing flowers right now. What do you think, girl? What do you think? Huh? Huh? Oh, there's Ginger. We were wondering about you. All right, so let me get back to eating that pink flower. Whole flower is edible. That one's really quite good. That tail end inside the cap though has the most sugar inside of it. Got some uh, Costa Rican bush mint here. Lots of the nopales. We even have a variegated nopales. And yes, this is a spineless. So um, this is a favorite for me. Really nice uh, flavor, kind of um, mucinologist. Definitely uh, lines your insides a little bit. This is one that brings back memories of John Starnes also, one of the first things I ate when I went to his house. Can be eaten raw, cooked, very uh, common uh, dish with um, breakfast per se. You know, I know this is commonly cooked up, eaten with eggs. I'm trying to pay attention to the camera, but I got Kiki over here digging a hole and I want to yell at her. So hold on for that. So coming down here next, uh, our Sand Hill Select Elderberry. This is one that we found that does really well inside of sandy soils. Um, this is what we make our elderberry syrup out of. This is our main, you know, build our immune system. Whenever we feel a cold coming on, this is what we take as far as the syrup goes. You've got some of the, uh, the peanut butter fruit. So that's one that, uh, literally tastes like peanut butter, kind of dries out your mouth. You definitely need to add some jelly with that and you can have a sandwich. Really cool. Not one that I always have in stock. Um, dwarf barbados cherry lots of regular suriname cherries and then we have the red and the yellow strawberry tree the montingia and if you guys haven't tried those yet they literally taste like cotton candy um the fruits almost come on almost all year long got to keep that tree pruned because it can get really tall grows fast like a weed we have a yellow variety and a red variety and you can see these little guys you think this is small but usually within just a few months of planting you're getting fruit um, behind there is that red turks cap hibiscus oh you're gonna check this out you gonna check this out? I didn't know I had somebody help me out here today film. Um, there's that red hibiscus. Let's see if we can get Kiki to eat this. Huh? Kiki. Not happening. All right, I tried. 
Um, got some elderberry hanging on. The elderberry this time of year is getting really spotty on the leaves, um, looking really rough. That one goes dormant in the winter time, so it basically goes to sleep and the leaves are gonna be falling off here very soon. It's actually one that can be planted all year long and actually prefers to be planted while it's leafless in the winter time. So definitely something you can plant in those winter months. We've got some of these um, Everglades tomatoes hanging on. I probably won't get any more of these until next year. And just a really small heirloom tomato to Florida. Quite delicious. Um, one that once you plant, you usually have for life. So what else is going on over here? And this is kind of the tail end. These guys are past their life. Oh, what else we got hiding back there? A couple of cinnamon. All right, the exciting stuff is in the greenhouse. You guys wanna see that? Hold up. So can you believe Kiki's a puppy? Look at her, she's like 93 pounds already. Seven and a half months old, growing like a weed. Hey, I think you grow quicker than the Tithonia grows around here. What are you doing, big girl? All right, so this is where all the exciting stuff happens. This house is completely full. We're running out of room. I cannot fit any more seed trays in here. Looks really awesome. I'll tell you guys something right now. I just priced another greenhouse um, because of the way this has been blowing up and expanding. I actually ordered one uh, about six months ago. I thought we sent the guy a deposit. I didn't. I went to just go send him a deposit and the price went up like a good chunk. I was blown away. Um, and now there's back order on all the parts. So we are gonna be getting another greenhouse. Um, I wanted to get two more, but it's probably going to be just one just because of the overall cost of these things. But we've got tons and tons of Japotacabas in here. And there's also some Anonas, um, but mostly Japotacaba focused in here. So I know we have some, uh, oh, ice cream bean. That would be the other one. And I actually have the true ice cream bean, Inga edulis, which is not very common. I was able to get my hands on some of those, which I'm really excited about. Now, most of these babies over here on this side aren't quite ready for sale yet. And here's the guardian of the Japotacaba house. Yo, what's up, big girl? All right, so everything you guys see on this table, these are all red Jabotacabas. These can fruit in five to six years from seed. These are almost ready to go in three gallons. And what the idea here is, once they go to threes, they're gonna step out into the shade nursery. All the ones from the trays are gonna to come to ones and they'll replace the place or replace that spot here on this table and hopefully give us a little bit more room for a short period of time. I can tell you at the rate I have been purchasing seeds, um, we probably much are running out of space around here. So it's gotten quite crazy. You can see all of these seed trays over here in the coming. I mean, we're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of seeds. Every one of these trays are 50. So 100, 200, 300, 400, you know, 800 just here in those two rows. You, can, you guys can do the math, you know, eight, 16, 24. Um, I mean, do you want me to keep going? 32, uh, it could go on and on and on. So we've got probably tens of thousands of seeds coming up in here. Really exciting. A couple of the reds are starting to flower right now. Over by my house, they're flowering. Here is a yellow Japotacaba. Here's a Grimmel Japotacaba. And yeah, it's growing on. Let's see what we got going on over here in four inch zone. So most everything that you guys see here on this left side, this is all for shipping. Um, these will all be going out in the mail eventually. And they're all pretty much the size right now. So we've got Scarlet Japotacabas. We've got Red Japotacabas. We've got Sabra Japotacabas. I even got some White Japotacaba. Ooh, look at that pretty one. And if you were to purchase a red Japotacaba from me, pretty good idea about what it's gonna look like size-wise. And you know, these can take into the 20s. This could go on your porch if you live in a more northern climate, go in your window, um, you know, kind of on the sill, it just needs water. You could put this in a little dish. That's how it's gonna do great the long term. And eventually you'll have fruit here in about four to five years. So these guys end up fruiting in about, like I said, five years compared to a Sabra, like one of these guys, which could take 10 years. And then the Scarlet, they say three to five years. So that is really exciting. Um, much quicker, that's what's becoming so popular about the Scarlet. And these are just little baby Scarlets. And these guys are definitely a little bit smaller. They're not quite as big as those reds, but they come on quite quickly. Um, you know, this is one, like I said, can fruit in three years. 
All right, so got Japotacabas. I am running out of room. We've got Japotacabas for days in here. Hoping to get another greenhouse going really soon. We've been shipping these things like crazy. I think I saw 12 on the cart going out today. Usually ship out about 12 to 20 of these a week and I haven't been pushing them much. I haven't done a lot of advertisement. I don't mind sitting on these things. These are kind of like my babies. Kind of like all these big reds you see in here. So these are kind of like for my, uh, my personal collection to collect for seed. Um, ones that I haven't sold. So I've pretty much ran out of 15 gallon red Japotacabas out there. I've got a couple of sevens left. Hoping by uh, springtime we'll have a ton ready in threes and maybe some 15s by the end of the year. We'll see. All right guys, like I said, it's almost Thanksgiving here. I'm trying to get a couple of videos wrapped up for you today. I have been extremely busy, hardly any time to pick up the camera. The last couple of jobs we've done, I felt that uh, I didn't think they would be great ones for video. By the time I got done with them, I was like, man, I wish I would have really videoed the whole process here. It's becoming one of those things. I wish I had a video team. I wish I had a videographer. Um, a lot of times, you know, when we're out there doing these installs, I'm out there with the guys. I enjoy working too. I'm out there running a machine. I don't have time to always pick up the camera. It's something I'm gonna try to do more of. I would say as the channel grows, I've been kind of kicking around the idea of this members area. Um, if we can build it, build that up to some point to where I can hire somebody to you know do full-time film work for us i'll probably start filming every single project we do so. so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little uh shipping video greenhouse video update video on what we have available if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and do so if you guys like this video be sure to hit that like button you guys know what we do around here oh well, we grow edible plants but we pound dirt